Greetings Spartans. Today we are going to learn how to do the drag and drop. We did this lesson a few weeks ago, so this is more or less a review. Uh, you will notice that uh, the flash I'm using is CS 5.5 since I'm doing this from home. So today um, I'm going to be using this celebrity, uh, his photo. Tomorrow happens to be his birthday, so uh, I figured, why not? And I'm in Photoshop right now, so what I want to do is select his face. I'm using my uh, pressure-sensitive graphics tablet, so uh, uh, we'll see if, if it works for me or not. In any case, I'm going to use his face, and then I'm going to do Control-Shift-J, put it on its own layer. I'm going to turn off both the uh, background of the photo as well as the background of the Photoshop so you can see the checkerboard now. This is the uh, this indicates that uh, we have transparent pixels and so obviously the selection isn't the greatest but that's okay. We're just going to go ahead and use this photo and uh, I'm going to save it and set it up for flash and so we're going to save it as a PNG file okay so I drop down the format and I'll call this uh, MC Hammer happy birthday to you tomorrow March 30th okay I'm going to just save that to my desktop interlace none click OK and it looks like I'm having problems with my graphics tablet, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, use my mouse. Okay, I'm going to close this window. Say no, I don't want to save that. Go, come over here back into Flash, and I will now import to library. Preparing to import. Okay, I'm going to go to my desktop now, and I'm going to look for the PNG file. Okay, let's see. There it is. MC Hammer, open. And waiting, unless it's already in there. Ah, there it is. Okay. So this will be the uh, part of the project that doesn't move. And so I could merely bring in that PNG. And I'm going to go ahead and free transform it. Size it up. And put that on layer 1. MC Hammer. Most of you probably don't know who he was. He was a very famous rapper back in the late 80s, early 90s. And uh, not sure what he's doing right now, but he will be 51 tomorrow. I'm going to go ahead and lock this layer. And I'm going to add a layer above. And let's see, what could I put? Uh, I think he needs a wig. So I'll just type in wig. Go into web browser here and I'll type in wig images and perfect and I'll copy the image bring it into Photoshop now we're rolling and I'll take my quick selection tool Hopefully I won't spend a whole lot of time. Now the face is also selected, so I need to take out the face by holding down the Option key. And let's see. So far, I'm doing all right. Let me just uh, lower that brush size. All right, that looks good enough. I'm going to go ahead and do Control-Shift-J to extract it from the background. Again, I'm going to take off visibility of the background as well as the extracted section. 
Okay, or the remaining of that extracted section. And so now we have just the blue wig. And we're going to go ahead and crop this. And let's see. Oops. Let me undo that. Okay. I think what I need to do is take the width off as well as the height. And it'll just be a free, free crop here. Ah, okay. And it should snap into place. If it doesn't, you just go up to View, Snap to Image. Okay, so I've got all four sides touching. Hit Return, and then I'm going to go ahead and save as... Remember to drop down that Format window to PNG, and I'll call this Wig. Okay, save that to my desktop, say OK. All right. Go back into Flash and import to library. Okay, I'm going to find my desktop and let's look for my wig. There it is. Click OK or click Open. And then look inside. There's my wig. Now, Bring that one over. First thing I'm going to do is make it the right size. Ah, he looks great. And once I feel the proportion is set, I'm going to go ahead and, or the scale, and then uh, I'm going to do F8 to convert this to a movie clip. And just call it wig. Make sure the type is a movie clip. I'll keep it as a center registration, click OK, and inside the library you'll see the movie clip symbol, wig. Okay, next thing I'll do is select it and go into my action script window. And what have I done here? Looks like I'm still in action script 2.0. So, what I have to do is pause the video and change that back to action script 2.0 okay uh, I went into file and uh, publish settings and changed it over to action script 2.0 so if that ever happens to you make sure you do that now F9 now I can put the code in now I'm going to just direct you to the code that uh, all you need to do is copy and paste so we go over here into action script and all the way down, you can see number four here, the drag and drop assignment. This is Action Script 2.0. Again, that's very important. Make sure you put this code directly on the movie clip itself. Okay? So I'm just going to copy this. And you don't need an instance name for this one. Okay? F9 and paste. Okay, I'm just going to move this off to the side. All right, so what I want to do is I'm going to test my movie. And sure enough, that is able to move due to that code. OK, so this is one item called wig. We've got that one object that doesn't move. That's the part that uh, we are detailing, if you will. Um, you might want to add a layer to your movie that indicates to your user to uh, give MC hairstyles. And so maybe since this is a, a theme of sorts, you know, you could uh, go ahead and find a bunch of different wigs, okay? Um, this would be, be placed off to the side here. Um, the fact that you need 10 images would probably mean that you'd have to resize some of these things. So maybe uh, come in here and... Uh, oh, I have to unlock this. So maybe... I come over here and resize both at the same time. 
and move that over. So now this would fit a lot easier. Okay. Um, you don't have to use uh, real photographs for everything. Maybe you uh, would like to um, draw some objects. So maybe, let's see. Uh, let me make that a little bit bigger. Do. Okay, so I would just then add a layer. This would be a new, this would be a new uh, hairstyle. So I just come in here, give him a wig of sorts. Okay, there we go. Ooh. I'm erasing now. How did I do that? Okay, got the wrong brush. All right, here we go. Huh? Well, uh, that's because my stylus is upside down. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Sorry, I had to pause the video. My son just woke up. All right, looks good, huh? Little clown wig. All right, I'll choose this one. Change it from the the drawing. And a fate call this clown ah clown wig and click OK and then uh, paste let's check it out you see how easy that is awesome move that to the side actually uh, move that to the side here and once again let's say you get about six images in here and you know you have to have four more so I would just take my free transform tool select all three images or in your case you maybe you would have seven select everything and then just scale it down right does that make sense so then I would just move that over here move him over here. That way you've got a lot of different uh, parts that uh, will allow you to fit things in. So I'm going to maybe draw another piece in here. Um, I have no idea. Let's see. Uh, you know, maybe give them a yellow background here. And I don't know, have fun with it. Maybe let's see. I'll put like a like an arrow pointing to his head. That might be funny. And then it's like that. And oops, that and like that. There we go. Of course, I cut that thing out, didn't I? All right, so I think you know what we're doing here. I'll just fill those spaces up. Okay. Have fun with this. I'm sure you'll come up with some neat ideas. Okay, thanks for watching.